hope I make sense to what I'm trying to say. But um, as you were talking, it was feeding my soul. And then you went at the end of the service and was talking about the end of time and how, you know, things are happening and things are, are going to happen. And I, I said to Brother Butch, my heart was pricked because you know what? That very statement alone could send a person into fear. You know, we could fear what the persecution's going to be or whatever's going to happen to us. But I said, but you know what our hope is, Brother Butch? Just as Stevens was when they stoned him. I do not believe that he felt one stone that hit him. I believe that God took him to a place in his mind that he felt nothing. He was in the presence of the Lord. And that's what it's going to take for us. For us, stones are thrown at us daily, whether it be life situations, work situations, whatever. It's, it's thrown at us, but it's up to us. It's up to us. Where do we want to be mentally and spiritually to accept those stones that are being thrown at us? And I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to share with what God gave me today. If we want this church, Brother Marlon can stand up there all day and say, I'm we want yeah. change. Yeah. We can all sit here, praise the Lord, and agree with them. Come on, full. Come on. But that change is not going to take place until we change. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we change. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. And it's mainly right here. Yeah. Because until we get to that point, just as Stephen did, it doesn't mean that we're going to die. Nobody's going to you know, naturally kill us. But what I'm talking about is spiritually. Until we get to a spiritual point of our lives that we can elevate our minds to not worry about that. Don't just let it go. Just let it go because it's not about us. It's about him. It's about him. It's not about anybody else. It's, not, it's, it's our salvation. We are to respect the Lord. It says to fear him. That is not like I'm scared of the Lord. That is to respect the Lord. Respect his word. We are to respect the anointing that comes through his words. And today I am so thankful. I know.